This is another folding knife from uh, Collie Harris. It's non-locking. This is again uh, sort of a prototype where he was working out a few things. This extremely long <laughs> index finger uh, cut out here was because a blade essentially made for another knife was sort of swapped in place here. So again, it's not made for some kind of Bigfoot. That just happened again because Kali was working on a couple of things and prototyping. Uh, this is an Elmax blade from Kali and it will be interesting to compare to the other Elmax blade that he has which he intentionally burnt in the not a knife prototype that I've showed before and it will be interesting to compare this Elmax blade to uh, Elliot Williamson's Elmax and the Predium because they're relatively similar but have a couple of small differences in the way they're heat treated so that will be interesting. Life smokes of Kali's knives it has all the details that once you handle a couple of them uh, you'll know what to expect. It has a very thin grind optimized uh, for cutting ability. The spine is very well rounded so it's very comfortable. The handle has all the normal details. Very very comfortable. A uh, bit of an issue that you can see where this is uneven where one side is rather pointed and again one side is rounded off. Again this is not essentially a finished product of a knife. It's more of a prototype where he was working on some stuff and sort of put a couple of things together. But still rather functional. Now this week's challenge um, is going to explore something that comes up an awful lot when people talk about steels like this or any sort of um, uh, blade material. People often cite data sheets which are provided by the companies that make the materials and they'll argue that oh yeah we know how LMAX performs just look at the data sheets that the company gave us and look at the charts or the tables or whatever. Now as I've argued for quite a number of years these data sheets are exactly that. They are put together by people in the sales department to promote the material. They are not direct published materials data. Now most of them source some of that data but the way they present it often gives you a very very different impression than what you would have if you saw the actual materials data or they were being much more explicit about what they're doing. As an example, oftentimes you will hear people say that titanium is significantly stronger than steel. Anyone who's worked with titanium and cutlery grade steels knows that generally that's not true even for the very specific titanium alloys used in cutlery which are rather high grade very high strength titanium grades. What they're actually talking about is they take some form of titanium. They compare it to mild steel which is the steel that's used in tension bars for fences and stuff like that. That's usually 1010 or 1020 steel. It's very weak. You can't even harden that by uh, normal soaking and, and quenching. It's non-responsive. You can generally only cold form it. Titanium is stronger than that which is pretty much the weakest steel that you can get. Data sheets often do something very similar. They compare the steel that they are trying to sell with other steels and then they say look how good our product is. But if you look at it a bit critically and see what they're actually doing you'll get a very different impression. Now the challenge this week is I'm going to put up a couple of data sheets. You have to look at them relatively critically. Look at the image that they are trying to sell or trying to promote and say how that's either misleading or they don't have the data necessary to support that conclusion. And you get one point for each one of those references. You also get a point if somebody makes that argument and you can refute it. And as always, you lose all your points the minute that you turn to an ad hominem and you attack somebody instead of dealing with the actual argument. Look forward to using this, like most of Kali's knives very functional, made to work as a knife, even if it's sort of not a full finished knife like this.